shares photos of Sunday Goho prostrating down to greet him and writes letters to Buhari. Since the attack on Igoho's house a few weeks back and then being declared wanted by the DSS, some top personalities have aired their opinion on the matter and this time it's the turn of Oluo of Iwo, Obadewale Rashid Akambi. In his detailed post via his Facebook page writing to Buhari over Sunday, the Oluo shared some photos of Igoho prostrating down to greet him, recalling how he visited him in 2018 and gave him his advice. But instead of the Sunday to know the difference between agitation towards government and activism, he failed. Even though he said some things to stakeholders, he has forgiven him and he's personally seeking for Buhari to forgive him as the number one citizen in the country. The Oluo stated that Igoho is a gift to Yoruba but has suffered a lot as he is a novice in handling issues against the government and hence he would mind his steps from now on as he would bring him peace talk at the right time. He hopes Igoho has learned his lesson as ready to mend his ways as Nigeria is an indivisible country that cannot be separated overnight for any reason. Oh my days, he really wrote a very long and extensive letter. But that's the summary of what the Oluwo of Iwo says. And yeah, the article ends with, What do you make of this from the popular Yoruba king to Buhari about the Yoruba activist? So I think, wow. Before we get into the comments, because it's going to be hot. Um, um <sighs> Everyone has made, they have made the government the victim here. Like, the way Igoho is being painted by a villain, by people that you'd expect to defend him. Because again, they're not defending him. They're defending him in a way where they're also protecting themselves, where they're not really calling out the government for what is wrong. The government was absolutely wrong in this situation. And it's just so fun because everyone is going to gaslight him and make him feel like he was in the... Like he was in the wrong. Nothing had happened. I'm so confused. They're making it seem like as if Igoho literally started killing people out of nowhere and he committed this grave crime. Like what the protest that they were even shouting about and they were like, oh, let's not do the protest. Don't do the protest. The protest had not even happened. What? It wasn't in two, three days to the protest and nothing had happened. And it's just like, you are a king for Christ's sake. I mean, it just shows that as a king, he really much has no power because it's like, you're begging, you're begging the, for Buhari to forgive him because he's a novice in handling. Excuse me. So you're saying self-determination is a problem. And you're making, they're just making it seem like, oh, we are the elders. So, you know, um... So the go is a small boy, that kind of kind of that kind of vibe, so they should forgive him. And I'm just like the gaslighting and the toxicity is real. The people that you'd expect, the the figures in the southwest that you'd expect, okay, maybe they don't I'm not saying they have to agree with Sunday Boho, but for the for this just show how, how they're sycophants as well. Because in his letter, he was basically from what has been said, he's basically not trying to get on the on the toes of the of the of the presidency. Basically, are we trying to forget this man is minding his business, and then because it's a different thing. It's a different thing if if because then if it's like in Ambikani, in Ambikani is like with his chest, okay. In Ambikani will come for the government and he will call each governor or the president. Or he will call them names and directly just go for them. But this one is actually out here gathering people to protest because they're not happy with the current situation of the country. And are we gonna forget? He's he was attacked. Two of his relatives or associates were killed. Allegedly, his wife was taken. All his properties in that in that um in that house, like in the compound, the cars, they were literally destroyed. Everything was gone. And I'm now like, excuse me. And now he's declared wanted. We are seeing what they're doing to Inambi Kanu, and you really think that they want to have a discussion with him. He's declared wanted by the DSS. So do you think that's gonna be like a you know a dialogue as some people would like to say? 
this does not make sense at all hmm somebody here says he didn't prostrate for you but for the crown Ooh. if you put it that way it shows that you know what his allegiances are to the crown and that is what he respects so to be honest i already know uh somebody here says it's a normal thing for him to do a key yoruba land is so no special thing there but it's an old picture it's not recent it cannot be recent because if it's recent then the dss would have gotten him like this hmm surprising Igboho is afraid of dss looking for a cover i'm just like what is going on in this country like honestly because in my mind we went when all this happened i was expecting a huge protest i mean with sunday go we'll with them Nambricano abducted and with with what has happened to Nambricano and his property and all that genuinely i was expecting a whole riot like it's funny how no one is criticizing the dss and it's like with the crime that they committed even murder it's just so blatant and obvious that they're in, that they are in the wrong and still nothing is happening to them wow someone here says um because you know that you're a small king that's why you have people like you lying and prostrating for you and it's not for you it is for the crown see um so his allegiances are to the crown again whatever advice that you thought you gave him again i don't even know like no disrespect but then you're not even in a position to change things you're like you're just a king and i'm so sorry it sounds like that but then in terms of power the politics and the access to resources that this man has he is the one who has to bend around the politicians and the government not the other way around so i'm not sure the stance or the power he's using to approach this situation like is he approaching with a place of oh i have power or you know because again, it's more like he's begging on the behalf. If he has power, it would be a negotiation with the government. But it's not. He's literally begging the government on behalf of Sunday Boho to leave him alone and not declare him wanted. And it's so crazy. It is re that this is so bad. They're gonna wow. Sunday Boho really needs to be careful because the circle around him, if he's not sure of himself everyone will literally gaslight him it's a different thing the government will gaslight you but if your people stakeholders in society are gaslighting you that that's it but what you think about this and don't forget to like and subscribe